Yeah, so for question 37 on the homework, it tells us that protons are accelerated near the speed of light in a particle accelerator. What is the wavelength of a proton that has a speed? So our velocity is 2.9 times 10 to the eighth meters per second. And our mass is 1.673 times 10 to the minus 27 kilograms. So for this, we need the de Broglie equation. The de Broglie equation is wavelength equals Planck's constant time or divided by our mass times our velocity. So just be careful that V is not frequency, it's, it's velocity, um, even though they look very similar. Right. And again, this is only pertains to things that have mass, right? De Broglie said the things that have mass also can have a wavelength associated with them. So our wavelength equals Planck's constant 6.626 times 10 to the minus 34. And you'll notice that the number didn't change, but our units did. Now our units are meters squared times kilograms over seconds. And that's because now we're using a mass. Um, so we need kilograms to cancel out and we're using a velocity. So we need to have um, the seconds cancel out as well. So that's why we just change the units on Planck's constant. So my mass is 1.673 times 10 to the minus 27 kilograms and my velocity 2.9 times 10 to the eight meters per second. Uh, do some analysis of our units, right? Kilograms cancel. Uh, one of the meters is going to cancel. The seconds cancel, and that's good. We're looking for a wavelength, right? Wavelength should be in meters. Um, so I'm going to put this all together. All right, 1.673 times 10 to the minus 27 times 2.9 times 10 to the 8th. And then I'm going to take this Planck's constant 6.626 times 10 to the minus 34 and divide that. And so I get a wavelength of like 1.36 times 10 to the minus 15 uh, meters. All right. So and looking at this, it's a multiple choice question, so that makes it easier for us, right? Wavelength equals 1.37 times 10 to the minus 15 meters. It didn't ask us to convert it in nanometers or anything, so we're good right there. Again, we know we would need to use the de Broglie equation because the de Broglie equation is the only one where we have mass, right? We need the mass there. We can relate that mass to the wavelength, so mass and velocity for that.